Hello, I'm working for the Open Knowledge Foundation and I'm working there as a project manager. Right now I'm working on a project called Standland Code. It's an incubator for young programmers where we want to um, show them, okay, there's also like there's the commercial side, but there's also a really interesting field when it comes to um, developing apps for citizens. Because in Germany, there's really a lack of uh, apps for citizens right now. And we're trying to um, yeah, get these young developers involved into the open data scene and community. Open transport data, a huge topic also here on the OK Fest. Um, super interesting when you look at the US or Finland or the UK where data is open. In Germany right now, it's difficult, there's no open transport data. In Berlin, there's a working group like developers, open data activists and people from um, um, public transport companies like working together on opening up the data. And um, what we've been seeing is that uh, um, companies are afraid that the data might be abused or something like that. So we're doing a hack day with them so that they can get to know developers and see, hey, what, what can be built out of the data and what benefits uh, could they have as a company um, when providing the data to people that uh, develop applications with it. Open data are just a lot of numbers released and you need people who translate the numbers for the people, like for example, journalists who translate the numbers um, and build stories around them, or developers and programmers who um, design and create apps. My hope for the conference is to go beyond this abstract level to kind of show, okay, what's already um, been done on an international level since like the US and the UK are much uh, more ahead than, than Germany is, for example. Like, what are the options um, for uh, businesses and as well like when it comes to um, citizens of course and, and, and citizen participation in, in a democracy then open data is also uh, something substantial.